Today I'm making palmetto tortellini, which is an oldie but goodie from my catering menu from way back in the day. It's still one of my favorites even though I haven't had it in a while. Stay tuned for the recipe. I've been making palmetto tortellini since I started catering, and I copied it from a wedding that I went to at Hilton Head Plantation, gosh, 20-something years ago where the recipe, you had to go ahead and cook all your pasta, it had chicken in it, it was kind of kind of glumpy. I think the, the sauce was made with flour. Anyway, it was delicious, but this is a lightened up version that's way easier, and you don't have to cook anything ahead of time. So what we're gonna start with is a package of three cheese tortellini. This is great for a dinner, and it's also good for potlucks, and if you have someone who's been sick, this is a nice dish to take over to the family. To that, I'm going to add a couple cups of fresh broccoli florets. I've cut them into bite-sized pieces. It's just easier to eat this way. And a 12-ounce package of beef smoked sausage. You can also use kielbasa or pork smoked sausage. Just going to add that in. I've just sliced it into bite-sized pieces. Then we're gonna add two jars of Alfredo sauce. It seems like a lot, but the pasta is gonna cook in the sauce, and so you need it to be pretty wet. This is super easy and super delicious. And I haven't made it in a while, so I'm sure my husband is going to love having it for dinner tonight. All right. So I'm just going to toss this to coat. And the oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to get Alfredo sauce on everything. It's out of the way. So what I'm going to do is just spray a casserole dish with cooking spray. And I'm going to add the pasta and the broccoli and the tortellini to the dish. It's going to be a full dish. But the pasta doesn't really swell, so it's going to be okay. It's not like it's going to swell up and come over the edges. Get every little bit of Alfredo sauce. And then to that I'm just going to add a couple of cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. And I'm going to bake it uncovered for about 45 minutes. Check the top to make sure that the cheese is not getting too brown. And um, it'll be ready to go. We'll be right back as soon as I pull it out of the oven. I've been looking forward to eating this. It's been a while since I've made it, like I said before. This is so yummy. See how the tortellini has cooked in the sauce? And the sauce is kind of been absorbed by the pasta. Nice and hot, and everything is cooked all the way through. It's delicious. I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you'd like to see more recipes like this, please subscribe. For complete ingredients and cooking instructions, and to purchase cookbooks, visit cateringbydebbiecovington.com.